This is a video showing the Wispy 28 MHz Whisper Beacon. Puts out about 200 250 milliwatts on the Whisper Band on 10 meters. The unit is shown here just below the 472 kilohertz uh, transverter above and next to the FT817 and signal link which I normally use. This unit takes its audio straight from the PC over here which is uh, running Whisper software as you can see at the moment on the screen. So we've now got on to transmit. The beacon is showing a red light indicating that RF is coming out of the uh, unit. This little diode detector inside there to pick up uh, RF near the PA output just to uh, as a confidence indicator that RF is being radiated. Uh, when I first tried this a few minutes ago I would forgot to synchronize the clock of the PC so I've done it again now and synchronized it from an atomic clock which I do automatically every few minutes and uh, that should now uh, have everything working properly. So it's currently about a minute into the transmission I'll come back in a minute uh, to see how we're getting on with reports. So here we are the beacon is just about to finish its transmission cycle about another 10 seconds to go before the light goes out and this particular two minute slot the transmission has ended come back onto the PC you can see the time it's going to go to green any minute now there it stopped transmitting at that point and the little light has gone out so if we now switch over to the whisper database I'll close this window and we can see immediately we've had a report from a Russian shortwave listener UR stroke SWL 56 He's in Kilo November 56 at 2,283 kilometres. I'll just do a quick refresh. And here we are, uh, reports from 4X1RF, who's in Israel at 3,519 kilometres. Um, so things are coming through quite nicely. So I'm going to take the box lid off now, and you can see inside the box to see what's, uh, what's inside. Uh, not included in this particular uh, circuit is the low-pass filter uh, which is external to the unit. So this is a view inside the box of the Wispy Beacon. I've only got the transmit part in this particular unit. I have done a receiver as well. I've yet to put both bits together in the same box. So it starts with a crystal oscillator here which is a very cheap 14.060 uh, crystal from the GQRP club. Um, that's then doubled and fed into a single balance mixer which then produces a double sideband signal which is amplified in a couple of stages of gain. The PA, which you can probably not make out, is actually just 1, 2, 3, 4, 2N3904 transistors in parallel with a little small emitter resistor in each, each one. Um, this costs about 12p for the PA, whereas if I'd done this with a higher power transistor it may have cost me more like a pound. So it was a very cheap way of making a little beacon transmitter. The whole lot on a piece of copper laminate you can see a couple of uh, um, T376 yellow uh, coils here and there's also one used here in the, double, in the single balance mixer um, as a uh, transformer. But the whole lot is extremely simple. I think the whole unit to make um, would cost not more than uh, a few pounds. And it works very well indeed of course. It's been heard now in every continent apart from Antarctica including Australia, South America, uh, Africa, the Indian Ocean, the States, well all over. Um, and it's really too easy, you just need this and the PC and a small aerial, which in my case is just a wire halo outside in the back garden on a pole.